now 948. It is time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson's here from the Imagination Station, and I see these here. Of course. You're going to want to put those on. Fashion second, safety yes. first. Okay. Yes. All right. Brought with me liquid nitrogen. One it's of one your favorites. One of my favorite things. Okay. And it's just really cool because there's so much you can do with it. In fact, um, it is very, very cold. Yes. So if we add a little bit to this glass here, you can kind of see that it is... One, very cold. Yes. But what does it look like it's doing? It almost looks like it's boiling. It's because it is boiling. It is oh. 320 degrees below zero. Wow. So you need not touch that without... I would not touch okay. that. No. Yeah. You would get frostbite right away. All right. But this is probably the coldest substance you will ever see in person. Wow. At 320 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And like you said, it's boiling, which is kind of weird when you think about it because normally we think of things that are boiling in our normal everyday experience as, you know, the tea kettle, sure. pot of water, mm -hmm. the soup. boils, soup, sure. exactly. So let's just actually take this stuff and add it to the tea kettle here and okay. see what happens. I'll grab this for you and we'll throw it in there. If you could just pop the lid on our tea kettle. Sure. Do you want me to close this portion? We'll push it all the way down and oh. close that part. Okay. Just like we were going to boil some water. Oh. And it's a great visual, right? Because this stuff is boiling. Uh -huh. It's changing from a liquid to a gas. Right. Just like water on a stove would. This thing is 400 degrees hotter than the nitrogen. Wow. I think about that, right? Okay. This is 320 below zero. This is room temperature, 400 degree temperature difference. And typically when we hear that whistle, that means that your water's boiled and you're good to exactly. go. Exactly. And you know, a lot of people think that boiling has to do with temperature. And it's all about changing from a liquid to a gas. It's a huh. change of state. Okay. Uh, water I'm boils. Learning something new. Water boils at 212, liquid nitrogen boils at 320 below zero. All right. It's really kind of crazy. And in fact, boiling is one thing, but you can also condense gases into liquids as well. Now I filled this balloon up with my breath okay. earlier. And so what I want you to do is go ahead and just take this and this is a container filled with liquid nitrogen. Is it going to pop, Carl? No, no, no. Oh man, I, I don't I like popping not. balloons. Just go ahead okay. and grab it at the top and just slowly push it right down in there. Okay. Keep push it, keep going. What's happening is we are cooling down the gas inside this oh, balloon. Oh wow, it's shrinking. So, yeah, keep going, keep going. Okay. We want to we want to liquefy my breath. All right. We're taking away some energy from the gas. It's mm -hmm. not going to it's not going to explode. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. okay. It's just going to get smaller and it smaller is. Oh, wow. and smaller as that gas inside turns into a liquid, it's condensing, huh. it's taking up less space. And eventually, if we get this really, really small, it's gonna happen quickly here. I'm gonna pull it out and look in the bottom of the balloon. You should be able to see a liquid inside, which is my breath, some nitrogen, some oxygen, okay. some carbon dioxide that has all been changed into a liquid because we've taken away so much heat from the gas. So take it out. Look at the bottom. Oh, wow, see at the that. very bottom. Okay, there is something some, inside if you can't see it at home. Because I was going to ask you what happens next. Now, will it expand back out? Now it that will, exactly. It out? If we add, if you gently touch the bottom here, you can add some heat from your hands, and we're going to actually expand that gas, and the balloon will start to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, it shouldn't pop, right? Because we can't mm, add. I don't know if I trust oh, you, Carl. No, we can't add any more. <laughs> we can't add any more volume inside there but the balloon will get bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. Now, of course, the classic thing to do with liquid nitrogen, which I think Oh, I really love like, this one. It's freezing flowers. They got water inside. Yes. Go ahead and plunge that into the nitrogen. Just push it right down in there. Oh, slow down, slow down. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. That's, that's okay. We'll do it quickly freezing the do ice. Do I bring it out? Yeah, bring it out, bring it out. And then go ahead and touch it. Really, just grab it. Oh, wow. It's like, it's like glass. Yeah. It shatters because all that water inside has turned into ice crystals. That's so cool. And it just shatters just like glass. That's a really good visual. <laughs> it's really cool. Fun thing you can do with liquid nitrogen. If you want to see it, come down to the Science Center, ask any team member, and they can show you liquid nitrogen. Sounds good. Carl really Nelson, cool. always doing something fun and creative on these sun Saturday mornings. Thanks so much for coming in. That's this week's Imagine It. If you want the hours, they're right there on your screen. Stay with us. We'll be back.